But someone asked a question and said, CoffeeZilla posed a question, which is, can charisma be learned by mm. everyone? Which, which I think is an interesting question. And yeah. I wanted us to answer it again. The example CoffeeZilla uses is Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. The asker, which is one of the reasons I want to bring it up, he is not on the spectrum, but his brother is. I don't know if it's deep Asperger's or actually autism. I forget. Mm -hmm. And he was saying, what can I do for this person? Is it hopeless? Can it can it be sure. taught? And then he referenced CoffeeZilla. He said, what, what is this? Can, is, can this be learned by everyone? So I wanted to pose that question to you again. Sure. So I think that there's everyone is too broad a category because if you if you go to the extreme there's people that are uh in a vegetative state sure. <laughs> who are not going to be able to learn it yeah, so let's just say no the answer is no and and when we go to the far extremes uh but let's even go to asperger's i mean we've had and i wouldn't have known the answer to this question quite frankly because it uh what do they call it? neurotypical is is what you and i would probably be and many other people who are watching this I did not know the experience of someone with Asperger's, but a lot of the emails that I'll get these days are from people who have Asperger's and say in their experience, it's been incredibly helpful to watch and apply the things from our channel. Some of them have taken the course. So that's actually one of the communities that I've seen get almost the most benefit mm -hmm. from it, uh, which was surprising to me because that was not what I had originally intended. As regards Mark Zuckerberg, who I would say, I don't know if he's on the spectrum. I don't necessarily think that he is. He might just be... Uh, shy nerdy guy yeah, may, who spent a lot of time maybe he is maybe he isn't yeah uh immaterial we we talked to steven from coffeezilla and uh it was interesting because the clips that he uses of mark zuckerberg are seven-ish years old and he's weird <laughs> he's, he's on there being like uh when i was a human i mean not that i'm not a human i i've always been uh not i mean oh shoot yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's just awkward uh he was weird and in his first in his first congressional hearing, the way that he sipped the water was very strange. But then he came back in the last couple of weeks. We talked about it, and there was no news about how weird he was. Yeah. And I watched the six hours, and he was noticeably more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And if you if you actually look at his interviews over the last five to seven years, it's obvious that he has gotten much, much better in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what his demeanor's like in the boardroom, but he is he is undeniably more comfortable in front of a camera and makes fewer gaffes that are going to blow up on Reddit. So he even the the example of someone who can't learn, I would actually say, has learned. Now, the final question. Can Mark Zuckerberg become George Clooney? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to that, I would say it's unlikely. I think that with everything in life, there is a band of uh, an aptitude that you would say. You can have a musical aptitude. And these can be wide bands, right? Mm -hmm. You can be, you can, can't not be able to carry a tune, and then you could be an excellent musician. Mm -hmm. Mark Zuckerberg's charisma band, I think, taps out closer to good than George Clooney's does closer to amazing. World class, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I would say. Yeah, Anyone, which is true of any skill. Yeah, this yeah. is why, despite my years of practice, I'm not in the NBA yet. <laughs> but you are incredible at Borderlands. <laughs> I am. <laughs> you I'm world-class at Borderlands. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's my three-part answer. I think you probably feel similar. Yeah, no, the only part I was going to add, you just did. Everyone has a bell curve. Yeah. Except, I would say, we not a bell curve. Everyone starts at their base, mm -hmm. basically. Whatever you're naturally talented at. And then there's a level that practice can add to it. That's true of Tom Brady and the worst football player. Sure. And it's true with Charisma. Yeah. If you want to learn more, check out our channel and Charisma University. Link below. Sponsor of this podcast. CharismaOnCommand.com <laughs> slash university. Slash university. 30-day mm -hmm. action guide. Right? Yep. 60-day money-back guarantee. 60-day money-back guarantee. 20 minutes a day. We've had 5,000 people nine out of ten average mm -hmm. we have to i'll have to make sure that that's still current and up to date but yeah, yeah. it's it's awesome i think I it's check, great i check it once a month <laughs> good it's it's so hard to keep that up to date because yeah. you could technically check it every day but yeah. we get we have a last i checked 1183 surveys and the average rating is a nine out of ten mm -hmm. which is awesome because if anyone gives you a two you need so many tens yeah, yeah, yeah. to get back to nine out of ten yeah. so so anyways it's awesome if you want to learn more check it out uh good question though i got another one